What's up guys? So, uh, I already did some setting and the footage was like really bad, so, um, I didn't keep it. So, uh, today we're actually going to be taking off all the holds on this panel, or at least most of the holds, because, um, uh, I just, we have one of the other big volumes and I think it'd be a lot cooler to put that up and see what we can do. So, today we're going to be taking all those down. But we're probably going to keep, like, the 9 up that I made earlier, because I just really like that. But, um, yeah, so we're going to set that volume up, and then we'll probably just end up doing some projecting, so. So, first we're going to take the volumes off. So what I'm thinking is, we have this one, so I'm thinking of putting it, like, about here-ish. And then, after we put that one up, I'm thinking, put this small one right here, kind of like what we did right here, but it'll be on this side. So, you can also do some cool cross through stuff like this. So I think that'll be good. It'll end up like, like that, kind of. <laughs> kind of trying to do this fast, it's really cool. Yeah, it's too big. I don't think we have to take this one off yet, so I'm not going to. But we do have to take off basically all the screw ons over here. T Farmer replica has to come down. I'll probably reset it. Alrighty, I think we're ready to see if it fits. Yep. Now the hard part is going to be getting it on. <laughs> I think we'll do it like that. You gotta be so careful with these volumes. I think I just sunk in the washer. Like, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, but I think that'll end up pretty cool. Alright, so we're gonna put this thing, we're gonna put it right up against this one, the tip of the tiny one. So it's like this whole like conglomerate pile of volumes. It's actually not that good either, so yeah, that was pretty cool. Let me hit that. Ooh, <laughs> hit that shoulder move into this or something. Definitely has a lot of potential, actually. I like it. So these are the screw-on holds that I'm gonna put up. Uh, most of them were up earlier, but I chose a few more that I want to put on. So yeah, I'll uh, show you where I put them after this. Uh, just too much footage to show you everything, me putting it on. All right, so I'm 
pretty much done setting for the day, probably. So now we're gonna project. I, I think I'm good to like get on like seven or something. Good one, probably six, six-ish. Yesterday, I made this cool seven-ish. It starts here, at this foot. Under cling, the crux is actually pushing off this volume with the foot. Because both the hands are good. And you're going to do a good crimp, but the foot sucks. The crux is actually pushing into that foot enough to get there. And then you have the gray gas stone, a foot over here. Finish on that. You, the other project I have starts over here. You hit this, go in, hit this here. You uh, cycle to this, hit this, cross under here. This is crux one. Hit this, go into here. And your knuckles actually are really annoying because your knuckles keep hitting this. This is crux two. Go up to the top of the slot hole. This is really nice pitch. Oh, it feels cool. It's not. It's not actually good. But hit that. Hit this foot, and then you hit the green slope right there. Match it as a pinch. It's probably somewhere around nine and ten. It's just really power resistant. Left hand start hold, pretty good. Right hand start hold, pretty bad. Go into this, which is pretty good. It's a good side pull thing. And then you bump to this. This thing sucks. Originally I thought you'd grip it like this, but it's just better as an other thing. And then you go in to the recycle. This is okay. This could crimp, but you have to do this awkward cross down into this. Turn around, place your thumb well. Put this like slopey crimp thing. And then this, it would be good if the orange hold wasn't there. Also, you can't really fit your pinky on. This is really annoying. There. And then you hit the top pinch, the like triangle looking thing, over the other black crimp, and then the slope will finish. That's, that's the main crux. Um, the feet are really in like a really awkward position. The knuckles are just pressing against that orange hole is so annoying. And the arrets on for this route, the thing is, is the, the only thing it's useful for is for the toe on the finish. I've tried to cheat it a different way and it doesn't really work. So it's fine to use for a toe hook for the finish.
pretty hard sequence. And after everything else, it's, it's hard to stick that pinch right. Okay. No! I wonder if it would just be easier to go up these two. <laughs> Then go into this thing. If this is what the problem is. So I think I'll try that. Maybe I can just take this hold out and tighten it. Uh, oh, you're right. Oh no. <laughs> Might have just broken my own route. This video is going to be split between two days because I don't have that much longer. So I'm going to try a different project I made. So I'll go ahead and show you the holds. So this will be the start hold. Probably my favorite hold on the wall, I'm not going to lie. It's pretty cool. Um, it's going to go all the way to here. It's a pretty big span. Um, and then, so I was thinking either you can cross down into this and then go up to that top black hold. Uh, right next to the gray crimp from here um, or you could like cross all the way down into here go right hand here and then go back recycle this hold into the left hand and then go up to that one that would be the easier way but I kind of want something really hard so I'll probably do the hard way <laughs> so I think the first move definitely going to be the cross so I won't try that one first <laughs> That one sucks. I don't know. <laughs> no, that's it. That was some idea. Yeah, so you'd have to kind of catch it and then. Basically, your foot's gonna cut off this, and then you just need to get it back to this immediately. So, like, it's a good hold, but it's, like, really steep, so. So, yeah, you grab that, grab stone really hard, hit that, situate the feet, then go up to the back crimp. Like, this and this or something. 
like actually make a route that feels possible. Um, so, and then tomorrow I'll be just brought to <sighs> Maybe more statically. Because again, I don't think you can catch this one hand. So that probably won't work. So I'll kind of have the static so you can not let go of the left hand. Man, this is hard, but uh, I'm kind of running out of time, so I'm going to make the, the project. So what I really want to do is just like this pinch. There's a pinch here. And this one is actually a little bit worse, I think. <laughs> so I was thinking maybe start where the nine started and go all the way up to this pinch, cross under to um, like this cramp or something. And then you'd have the rose move of the nine, go back into this pinch, go out into a crimp somewhere out here. Maybe this thing, if I wanted to make a V14, or like this thing, sorry, uh, this thing, or this thing, or make put even a worse hold over here. So basically, you'd end up over there, you'd switch into this pinch, or actually, no, you'd probably keep the undercling, and then you'd go up to the slot hold, and you wouldn't you wouldn't get the top thing, just the bottom thing. So it's really bad. So yeah. I think switching to the arete, so it's compression. Stick your foot out here. Go into the crimp. I think that's going to be the crux. Turn around, hit this. Go to the slot hole. Ooh, even moving the foot is insane. We're gonna see what the uh, top part feels like. If it feels, feels doable or not. Yeah, it's a hold, but it's a bad hold. <laughs> it's a well, it's a really bad hold. But yeah, so you have a you have a good underclean though, so That actually adds another half move, because you actually have to move off the yellow thing. Yeah, that's a hard move. <laughs> oh, this all holds so bad. I have a few tries left of the day, and then I gotta go grab lunch, finish my homework, and uh, music then for that. So, 
there's probably going to be music in this video of mine. So, if you want to check it out, I'm on most streaming platforms, just and Stanford. It'd be awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight moves. Eight moves on an eight by eight wall. <laughs> so, <laughs> that you can't break. Oh! back tomorrow and I'll try those three projects. I definitely expect to do the first one, the really long one. Uh, that felt like it was getting really close today, but I wanted to do other stuff. The one with the big shoulder move, I don't know, that one's pretty hard. And then the new one, I'm just gonna focus on that one move. All right, it's Thursday, so I'm back to climb. It's colder than yesterday. <laughs> I'm also really tired because I just got back from the, um, well not just got back, but I did a hike with some friends at 4 a.m. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of tired. But we are here, we're gonna try some of the projects. And uh, yeah, hopefully it goes well. Look at that crimp up there. That looks so wet, the blue one. <laughs> and this one used to be covered in chalk, but now it's just not. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look like that, 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 that wet, but like, these are wet. <laughs> Look at that. Ugh. Disgusting. Well, I think that'll be it for this episode. I'll probably be back trying the uh, the three projects on here. Um, probably tomorrow, actually. So, yeah, see ya.